Express Van. New edition. You know what it is. The voice. The lead singer. You know how we move? 30 years strong, man, and still making it happen. You gotta get down with the hip hop real estate. I'm trying to told you it's a movement that's gonna take over the world. In a minute, just like hip hop, and hats to the side, and cock to the back took over. Hip hop real estate. That's what it's at, baby. Understand it. Hip hop real estate, it's about to go down. We in New York City, man. We're about to get the Ralph Trent's of the new edition, man. It's about to pop off. We do the 30th anniversary, man. New York was crazy. When I mean crazy, the crowd was magnificent. It was all over the place, man. They got it going on. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned and keep them locked. I'm gonna get a little advice, some little words from Ralph Trent's van. <laughs> Paradise did. We shut this down. Real talk. It was real nice. It was good to see all the fans out there. They came out and supported in a big way. It's a place that really probably only holds 2,000, 3,000 people. We stuffed about 6,000 in there last night. Backstage was packed. In the dressing room was packed. The subways was packed. The streets, it was crazy, man. New York, thanks for the love, man. Real talk. What's going on for, um, you know, new edition? Y'all guys going on tour? What's the new thing that was popping up with you guys now? And how did you even guys even get back together on this uh, new adventure you guys got? You know, honestly, it was something we've been wanting to do for a while. We've been wanting to get back together and find a way or a time when all the schedules permitted it. But, I mean, it took a little while. It took longer than we thought, and to do it the right way, we still haven't really got all the pieces together because we want to come with the what we call, or at least what I like to call that, that legendary run. But now we're moving around to get the, you know, the Rock, and, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction, the Star on the Boulevard, you know, the World Tour, the, the movie showing the, um, from when we was little to now, you know, just doing the full run that kind of rounds off the, the career. And hopefully at the end of that, you know, it's one of those things that everybody gets the full picture. BBD, Bobby Brown, Ralph Tresvan, Johnny Gill, we're all the same group. A lot of people still don't know that, especially a lot of you know, people on the pop side or other areas of music, they don't really understand it. This all one click, one conglomerate from Boston, you know. And so when you come talk about new edition, we're really trying to, really trying to paint the picture so everybody understands what the movement was. You've been on the stage, man, for a while, man. Y'all still got the whole step. Now, being on the stage again mm -hmm. with the whole group, how do you feel about that? It felt good. You know, it's one of those things you just feel like, but just imagine being be, being a Voltron. Remember that joint? Oh, shit. Imagine yeah. it being Voltron and you know you performing by yourself. You feel like you you know you moving around just like the leg or the arm. You powerful by yourself, but when you all get together and link up, you feel like you know you you undefeatable at that point. So that's what it feels like when I got them all. When I'm on stage with all the rest of them, I feel like ain't nothing else can touch them. All the experience, your life is all from New Edition to you know your, your, your single projects. Mm -hmm. What have you experienced and you seen that, that just some of the changes and transition in your own life that you see that can that put a, a a toll where you say you know what let me rethink and re reinvent myself. As far as the changes in the game, yeah, changes in the game. And what I felt like I need. Okay, well you know to be honest with you, I just felt like for me, I've never really had to do a whole lot of changing because the way that the lane that I moved down in the game is one of those things that um, people people look for that from me. You know, when the game changed and a lot of the hip hop came into, you know, we grew up like, that's what we did. That was our lifestyle. When our culture came into it, I'm, sorry, I'm already in the R&B thing. I'm already singing, I'm already doing the stuff to the ladies. And that's what it was about for me. When I thought about singing, I thought about crooning to the women. I never really put the, the whole hip hop and the culture and all that into the put into perspective with it all. It just meant, you know, you're supposed to be your best, sharp, look clean, blah blah blah. So when I think of the game, I just think of doing more of that. You know, I don't, as far as reinventing myself, I know obviously you gotta um, the music style. If I'm gonna come with some new records and some new music, 
I got to try to find a little bit of a bridge if I'm going to give my chances, uh, uh, myself a chance to be relevant and play that radio now or whatever it might be. You know, you want to try a couple of those. But for the most part, for me, man, you know, I don't really change with the game. I, 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 let, I, I try to change the game. I don't change with what the game is doing. You see some of the new artists out there, out in the industry now, in entertainment. What do you think about working, doing some collaboration with the Nicki Minaj, the Dregs, yeah. uh, all some new artists that you've met in, in your, in your um, doing your music? What about the, the new cats? Do you like write some songs for them or do some music with them? How would you feel about that? Absolutely, in a, in a heartbeat. I love Drake. I love how he's moving. And he's, no, he's melodic with it. He, um, he's to the ladies. I think, uh, I think for me to do a collab with Drake would be perfect. Or Nicki Minaj, you know, um, to have her or be a part of something she's doing. Yeah, and then that whole camp over there, I like how they move. I like what they're doing. They, um, they're very visible. And to do something like that would, I mean, that would just add to my career, you know, because they're doing it real big right now. You know? Young money. Absolutely, that young money, yeah. They're doing it like they're supposed to do it. If you're going to do it, do it like that. What can you tell young artists, new beginning artists, they're trying to get into the the um, industry, what can you tell them the ones who are trying to get on, you know, how you start and things like that nature? Mm. Mm. Run. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell them, run. Don't quit your day, your day job. No, at the end of the day, real, real talk, I would tell them that, I would tell them this, the formula that always worked for me is, success is a combination of preparation meets opportunity. So you prepare yourself properly. When you get the opportunity, you know, you have a chance to have success. You got a chance to win. But one without the other, you got to just be prepared. Work on your craft. Really, really be good at what you do. Don't go out there thinking you're good and, you know, people are turning you away all the time and you're taking that as a sign of, you know, you want to be mad at them or at the world. They try, that's, that's constructive criticism, sometimes just criticism in general. But you got to take that, fine tune what you're doing until when you're moving and you're doing what you do and you're getting a lot of, ooh, that kid's nice. I like how you get that, you know, you gotta, you gotta work at what you're trying to be or what you wanna be. It takes a lot of work. Work on your craft, try to perfect it as much as possible, at least work and strive for that. If not, I mean, at the end of the day, you, you know you're gonna fall in a place when you finally meet that opportunity to get out there, you are really ready. That's what's up, you heard it from Ralph Trez, man. Listen, man, you on hip hop real estate. Really yeah, now let me ask you a question. I know I'm sure this is about to go and I want everybody to hear this. Now, did you buy any property or divest, diversify your income, or open any commercial, residential, anything of that nature since you've been handling your business? Of course. Of course. I still got income properties and things that I make money from. Um, that's the way I looked at it. When we came in the game, we said, you want to put your money, you want to buy real estate. Right. You want to uh, buy low and try to sell high eventually or rent out or whatever it's going to be. So I've been using that formula for many years, you know. Still have quite a few properties there. That's how between records, I continue to eat. <laughs> <laughs> that was real talk, diversifying your income. It's made you think, let money work for you instead of you working for it. Now, you heard it from Ralph Tresvan. Now, if you're telling you some good things and some good advice, take heed to it. Make sure you log on to a new edition fan page. And that's real talk. You got a Twitter page, man, how people get in contact yeah, with you? I got Twitter pages, man. You go on mine's, I'll show you the link. Mine's just under my name, at Ralph Tresvan. You got at Ricky Bell, at Mike Bell. You know, we're all in the middle of it, man. You know, we're all over the all of the social networks. So if you're looking for us, you can find us. New edition. Now we got an neofficial.com. That's our that's our site together. We got an neofficial Twitter page. Yeah, so you can find us, man. You know, if you look at mine, I'll point you to where you need to go. Go to my joint or King Bob at King Bobby Brown or you know the real Johnny Gill at the real Johnny Gill. You know, they're all on there. The vote. We're all on there to be honest with you, so. You can find us. We're not hard to find if you want to know what's going on, you know, be further informed about what we're doing and just some of the other movements in general. We just, we keep people up on the same thing, making sure that they know what they're doing with their money, looking for different areas to invest or be a part of that gives back to the communities while still doing for yourself. You know, we look for all those kind of, um, you know, different um, ideas and things to share with people so that as we're learning them, we get a chance to spread them and teach people who, you know, who need to know about it. So they can basically find you guys for your next tour dates. They can go on your fan page and find that. Yeah, you can. You can go on a fan page. You can actually go on Ticketmaster probably at this point. Um, this, the dates are up and running. Um, yeah, but they are on 
They're all on the Facebook page, Ralph Tresman. They're on the Twitter pages. They're on the fan page, and the official, newedition.com, neweditionofficial.com. I think that's what it is. We got so many daggone sites, but that's the latest. That's the one we're working with right now. Yeah, you can find it on there. Y'all stay tuned. Kerry A, Hip Hop Real Estate. Like I said, you heard from Ralph Tresman. And make sure y'all go see New Edition, man. They, yo, they getting in. I'm telling from the young to the old, who, you know, they, they handling their business. And you got to go see that, that step, man. That step, oh, man, they got it going on. That's real talk. Carry a hip hop real estate. Stay tuned. Keep it unlocked. Park Real Estate, you know, chilling backstage with any live in NYC. Uh, you're gonna take a this is your boy Andy B from Beantown with the Hip Hop Real Estate from my man Andy Number Two and my cousin Big Mizzy Mo, my man Rizzy from the NE Heartbreak. Okay, let's make it happen. We out here. As a matter of fact, I got a few, a few things doing a little real estate here. Okay. This is that good real estate money right here. We're going to make this real, real estate money right here. This is real estate hip-hop money right here, okay? That's what I'm talking about. This is the love we get when we do these things out here in this part of the states, okay? We in New York, Manhattan, chilling, sitting on about a half a million, okay? <laughs>